galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é o Leas. Estou aqui no começo do vídeo para pedir duas coisas importantes aqui para vocês, para ajudar o canal. A primeira é deixar um like aí no vídeo, aqui embaixo, vai ajudar demais o feedback. E a segunda é se inscrever no canal, que estamos com a meta aí de 200 mil inscritos, fechou? Tamo junto, rapaziada. Espero que curta o conteúdo aí. E é nóis. That he's up against, then uh, just in general, I mean, Navi, they were so close to finishing everything. Could they survive the upset of being defeated on Mirage and then getting into this one? What we've seen from both rookies. Yes. Head trick two, doing well. And Rez, he's going to have to come up. Great off angle. NPL overlooks it. Rez, early adopter of the duelies, but only able to get the one. Good damage, though, inflicted onto Electronic, and he burns a Molotov. Yeah, not sure if anyone else is there, so. Gonna go pick up the dualies and walk it back a bit. Simple has the P250, and he's at a point in the map where he's at a huge range. So if anyone's peeking any of these positions with a USP thinking they're gonna have it, oh, he saw that, and even the Glock, you catch someone looking the wrong way. Prolin trying to play for the team, trying to get the information, and it blows up in his face. That's unfortunate. Three versus four now, and look at who's sneaking out on long. It's head trick to try and sort of do what Prolin was doing, but. Maybe with a little bit more success, it looks like he's going to be able to stab them in the back, potentially. Oh, yeah. This is a great timing for him. Simple might be caught unaware. Nades being thrown, but no. Simple. Always ready. Even when it feels like the timing shouldn't be favorable there. It's actually causing a big rotation. NIP, they're the ones that are being toyed with in this round. Electronic is deep with the duelies. Hampus caught off guard. Alexi B in the one on four, and he doesn't even know what bombsite this is headed to, and he doesn't need to know. Positions. So, it is, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't hate it either. I think it's fine. Yeah, some of the, the ways that people appreciate Vertigo is for all the little tricks, and Overpass has those tricks, but you're actually looking for map control in more than one area. Yes. So, that's, that's like, that's nice, given that it's not as one-dimensional as just, let's get ramp almost every single round. <laughs> uh, overpass has so many points of emphasis that are important. Short A, con, water. You want to use any of those to unlock the middle of the map. And I think I just think that the, the flanking rotations for TTs are also very fun to watch uh, and how hectic those, those post plants can get. Also, it's one of the only maps where there's so many just micro changes in elevation. So truly yeah. great aimers truly are, are going to benefit so frequently. And I would put Bit in those likes. When he switches to the CT side, all of those little just ups and downs, those divots, those valleys, he's so great at just the micro adjustments necessary to still what they want to use the, that flash for. Okay, wait, they're actually swapping nades around. And it looks like Perfecto is going to be the one that has to bear the utility few players though from NIP waiting and they actually aren't molly out of position just yet. Bit pressing on forward, swipes down what? Alexi B. That's incredible to peek that deep into long. I, I can't believe he expected that to happen. And there we go. Simple holding the flank, taking down Hampus and Brez is a mile away from this one. Open for them. And so this is where overpass gets interesting. When the CTs have this sort of control, there is a lot that they can do, oh but if they're dead, there's not much. That was the M4. They can pick it up, but still, what a crisp shot coming out there from NPL. Long range to try and find it. We'll see. Amber's gonna get checked, but he's good for the one and very nearly the double. He's one health left on Electronic. That seems unfair. If Hampus would have found that one, he can probably even escape behind it, and it's a very, very different round. That M4 still being sought after by a couple of players on the NIP side. Good return kill. Still a two on three and almost a two on two with the fact that Electronic is, I don't know, fresh breathe away, uh, breeze away from dying. Just a little bit too much wind and he's going to fall over. Yeah. Brolan and Hetrick. What could they do here? I think they're being shut out of the round already. Molly's there. Smoke towards the jump up. This will be a fifth round for Navi. And when I was prefacing the game in what NIP strengths are, I solely highlighted their T side. We're not seeing it, obviously. Even though they won the knife round, they're picking CT. I can't really blame them for that. I think that's pretty typical, all things. Oh, wow. Scary stuff. But he is going to be fine. So will Electronic. Five and oh. But no frag yeah. in either direction. 
so pressured behind this with Perfecto holding the pillar on the other side. No counter grenades really coming out from the NIP side. They can't slow them down. And Lexi, he was flashed the entire way through. Even though nobody was looking at him for about three seconds, it didn't matter at the end. And I think the fact that and the fact that Navi are allowed to set up and the X Ash was just on those NIP players, just nothing they could do. It's it's a lot easier if you run into a bomb site and you just essentially uh, use echolocation to figure out where they were. Did he see that? I think he did. Yes, definitely did. But the flash there is actually going to alert Roland to Bit's presence. That's very nice. And it does look like NIP have found a way to win around here. Two-man advantage. Brolin backing all the way up. Wants to make sure that he doesn't die by his lonesome. And with 40 seconds left and just a couple of smokes, Navi, I think they're forced into this. It looks like they're going to have to go for it. Oh, man, Brolin, even though Simple was being boosted, he nails him with the headshot. Perfecto, he hears them doing significant damage. Actually takes down both, but it just seems like the bomb is so far away. 20 seconds. I don't think you can make it at this point. This is going to be a round victory for NIP. Yeah, it definitely will. Only real question is if they want to fight to do a little bit more damage or just leave it at where it is. And it feels like already they made that choice. So plenty of money on the side of Na'Vi, but good job for NIP. So it's, it's an interesting scenario. I think that's worth highlighting what you mentioned there. It, without the flashbang, Brolin has no idea that someone's walking long. A realistic bit. I, I would love to say six. Yeah, I think NIP need to hit six to have a chance in this one. But... They definitely have a chance. With Brolin playing this well, they don't have to worry about one side of the map too much. Oh, They're no. making an aggressive play through towards the monster smoke. They want this information so badly, and it goes punished. But Electro, or Head Trick, that is, is able to find one in return. That looked like it was going to be an absolute disaster. They could have all three been sprayed down, it almost looked like, but Rez gets to live, and they get a return kill, so a little bit of fortune favoring NIP at the end of that battle. 27 seconds. Definitely going to be a B execute this time. Brolin is scarily close on the other side to being down connector. He can be there so fast. Maybe faster than Navi would want. So I'm not surprised if that's what ends the round. A missed flick here from Hetrick, And he's isolated behind the pillar. He can't escape. Brolin's trying to get there. But they need to slow this down. Rez is going to get dropped. And Hampus in the water on his own. And there we go. Hampus and Brolin he's taking just... the angle up of the restrooms. This time with no flash. So just going to go check it. Not finding anyone just yet. And it feels like as soon as he did that, you could see it called something out and they just ran to pick up the bomb. <laughs> okay, oh. <laughs> that is a peak. Electronics to take down Rez. Oh man, that's brutal. Three people at the B bomb site, but now only two left as Rez goes down. So this defense is stretched really thin. What a nice peak from Hampus, but it still leaves Alexi alone. The rest of the team are scrambling to get here. He needs some help right now, but double as he sprays them down and PL a bit. Doubling it up on each other and it buys the time. Sniper being wheeled in on the high ground in Hetrick and Simple going straight for the bomb plant, but they're already on top of him. Roland, nice move to isolate that position and lock Simple in. This is not always the easiest spot. Not, not the most options necessarily, not the most you have to think about, but it's just such a pivotal fight. And Brolin, he'll be the opposition this time around. And yeah, that's why it's dangerous, because if you lose this now, Brolin has so much to work with. He can rotate in so many different ways, and it, it costs so much utility now to try to unseat Brolin. That's the big problem now for Na'Vi. And they're focused on that. Hampus sneaking in. Electronic is so aware. That is a nice pickoff, but otherwise, strange off-angle to be fighting a lot of the time. Brolin still looking down there. They're well aware. They know that he could be. And they're going to be having eyes on it. Simple heads up play, and they almost get shot down. Rez could have had a multi spray down. Two versus three instead. Alexi and Hetrick to try and keep the streak going for an IP. It's been looking good so far, but if they let Navi into the game once again here, this first half is still very questionable for them. Alexi. He was good for a double last time, and he's going to do it again. It's simple. Bitk actually got the headshot. Out on long. Defending the baguette. Oh, oh and yeah. the spam right through, just not even needing to check it. M4 is gone, and that's got to feel frustrating. Electronic, that's a, that's a bit too much speed. Knife out the whole way walking out of the site. I guess he did find out where they were, so in some sense of the word, it did work, but that's it's very bold. See, that's something I would expect from uh, a couple other IGLs in the space, like... 
like a Kerrigan, maybe an Apex, but electronic, you want him definitely to have his gun Apex. out. Yeah, definitely Apex, <laughs> actually. Um, Especially maybe playing against a team that has the kind of firepower that Na'Vi do. If you win or lose those battles, it might be all over. And here's one of the fast plays you mentioned earlier, one of the few ones that's available on this map. And so far, they've traded evenly. There's still two people on the bomb side defending for an IP, so they're not really through. They haven't punched through the wall yet, Na'Vi. And the longer they wait, the more backup is going to show up. A third man rotating in from the high ground in Hetrick. Oh, smoke fading. Betrays Alexi there. And now Rez in the pit. He is supported by Hedrick, who seems to have locked in this player in Perfecto. Perfecto shouldn't be able to leave, but no, Rez takes the duel. Hedrick was already holding the angle right there. Didn't have to necessarily take that fight. Could have just held on to the space. But now it leaves Hedrick in a one versus three. And this is looking like a ninth round for Navi. Can't, can't see Hedrick going for this one. No. Just wants to keep this op moving forward. And it's so smart for Perfecto. He knew he was locked in as well. Yes. He just stays there. He never shows himself from the high ground. No. Just never given given up the chase until that fight presented itself. And then he just, all, all right, if you're gonna if you're going to give me this. So they can start to focus a little bit more on this A defense. Oh, man. That's rough. Hampus, an opportunity, but not able to capitalize. Hetrick still in the back line with an AWP, and with his presence being noticed by Navi, it might opt to rotate off of this, but I think they're just going to lie in wait and hope that Hetrick does that sort of movement for them. More than anything, he'd probably love it if they run at him straight away. And this slowdown, is, it's so tense when you just have to keep scoped up and wait like this for a long time. And now with the Molotovs on top, it makes it even more tricky. A smoke, but that'll also block his vision. 30 seconds, Rez gets one good shot in, but the AWP is gone from the round. And it's just Rez, and they know where he is. One versus three. So Navi keeping it cool in spite of running into that AWP at some point. They were not too worried about it. And they're going to be able to win this round, no problem. Simple, good triple on him. Four people there. They've got the rifles. If they can't hold B with this, I don't know what will do it. This should be the best chance for an IP to actually win a round finally. Roland comes in with a huge double Alexi to follow it up. And I think by now, now we get the message. This was too much. And they're going to start to fall back. And Hetrick, I think this, this is smart play. Why stay and fight them up close? Just get a kill, maybe get some information. Oh, he's going to come back for the second one. Good job on the double. Another round for NIP. NIP a real shot. Oh, almost the follow-up. That, that would have been really something. Long and a good little flick. Not the widest distance, but simple. Going to be beating Hetrick to the punch. And that takes away long, and it probably forces at least a bit of a rotation on the NIP side, which they don't want to make. Again, they've been trying to really bolster this B defense. But having to pull somebody back now, and it's Brolin who's on the mission. He might do what he tried to do earlier, which is... If the timing is right for it, push up to try and... Oh, look at oh, this. They're no. all going for it. The entire squad expecting a B hit. or oh, sorry, an A hit, and they actually just all go for it. That's crazy. They have got one smoke, but the bomb is planted in a very awkward position to try and smoke off easily. This feels like a mission that's doomed from the outset, especially now that Hampus has gone down. Simple landing into the shot. Let's see if they can find a bit more. It's perfect to an a bit at the end. 11 to 4. And that would make his day. Perfecto, though, around the site, dancing around it, and it's Hedrick who takes him out. Electronic, he's still here with the duelies, but he backs on up. Yeah, realizes he could have maybe got shot in the back, and he's not wrong, just the timing didn't work out for him to take that peak. Nice boost to look over. Alexi gets blown up, and that's maybe a way for Navi to get back into the after plan. Hedrick's still here with the Glock. It's so efficient. They know, but they can't easily fight him. Rez is there to get some cover, and finally, a little bit of something going Navi's way. NPL alone? I don't know if there is a kit somewhere, but if there is, I don't think you could find it at this point. Gonna jump straight on there. 10 second defuse. There is no way that's gonna happen, and eventually Hampers will find him. NIP, a critical pistol round. 30 seconds. Yeah, this is a little bit tricky. NIP could still be in trouble because this one Molotov here, I mean, if they can't put it out, if they get stopped behind this at 20 seconds, there's the Molotov down, and you can see the terror in their eyes. They realize we have to slow it down even further, and finally they manage to put it out. But on the other side, the Fumas are doing so much damage. A double for Perfecto and a triple for Electronic, and just that they one. They cover each other, especially with rifles and none of them in AWP. Oh, the sneak in. Brolin with a grenade. They have to keep what? going. Bad. He's running them over. He's found two out of three with nades in hand. They had no idea.
That is so crazy. Just perfect timing from Bit right there. Never expecting it, none the wiser. Simple, dancing around the smoke now. Able to take down Rez, just Hampus remains, and he is wondering what just happened to my team. And there aren't gonna be any good answers. No one's gonna be able to come up with why that worked so well for Bit. Everybody just had their nades out. Not that much counter utility on the Navi side, so maybe the smokes can buy the space that you're talking about. Get rid of Simple with that AWP before he puts a shot in. They're trying to do it. Leg shots coming out. That'll slow them down. We're at 18 seconds for the oh. round, and Hampus finally summons working out here for NIP, but they need more. The crossfire is dead on perfect. It's bit with another multi kill. This time they weren't headshots, but we'll take the triple anyway and put Navi at so 50. He's, he's massively shot up oh, all of yeah. a sudden. Oh, yeah, he's, he's definitely Simple. here to play. Pushing long right as they're doing it. He's not slowing down even after reeling his position. Electronic hiding in the corner, and this has just fallen apart here. NIP getting no shot at it in what looks like the final round. Head trick's gonna be taken down simple, but yeah, they got overwhelmed at the start of it. Oh, wow. Did he see it? I think Hedrick has a good idea. That's a catch. Maybe they're back. Maybe he can keep them alive. Triple so far on him. There's definitely an opportunity now. So much time left on the clock. Hedrick really wants the space towards long. A little haphazard in his approach, yeah. but won't actually cost him yet. Perfecto has slotted himself on the site. Actually, no, he backed up. He, he wants to play incredibly passively here. This is a bit concerning for Navi. They were in firm control of this one, but Hedrick brings it all the way back. Three kills already to his name, looks for the fourth. There's the spot. This is an important duel, but Perfecto, he's playing so passively. Yeah, he wants to wait, try and see if he can get MPL back into the mix instead of fighting in one versus two, and I'm not surprised. Oh, close. MPL taking a lot of space behind it. Are they going to be ready for it? Flashes out, and the spray's almost good, but Hampus, he lives on just four health. And now Perfecto. He called in the backup and it never really arrived and he can't get the job done either a quad kill on head trick to keep hey, them alive over. this is a good position for him and even though things got a little bit chaotic in the last round for navi i think things have really settled for them perfecto will have an advanced warning on this approach from nip and it's more than just a warning it's two frags and he's able to survive too oh no nip i feel like this might be it for them Shooting them right in the little booties. Like <laughs> said, they just get their toes blown off one at a time. That's a horrible image. Brolin and Hetrick, two versus five. 20 seconds left and trying to breach the B bomb site. It looks impossible, and it is. 16 to 8 is Navi to bring down NIP, but not without a struggle. NIP with a new lineup and definitely looking interesting, but Navi, they still have that core strength. And today, the they're rewarded for that. Yeah, and we could see that it really worked out for them. The strength of their rifles.